Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the Rogue Dice. Today it's something a little bit different. It is the first open war Valor report that we're doing. So I've never played one. Did you play some I've of this? I've never done stuff? it in 9th. I did, we did open war a lot in 8th. In 8th. for a bit yeah. of variety. So we're going to see what it's like in 9th edition. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you that don't know what open war is, I'll let Sam run through what it is and then you can do your list. Yeah, so basically, uh, we've got the open war mission cards, and you draw a random objective, right. uh, a random battle map, and then a random twist, and then if there's any disparity between your power levels, so if Tom had a slightly less power level than me, there'd yeah. also be a ruse which would give him a nice little bonus, oh, but okay. we're the same points and we're the same power level today, so there's not going to be a ruse. Yeah. And then you can use them to sort of build your own little narrative game. So that's cool. You can do one where one army's got like twice the power level of somebody else. Oh, that's cool. Ah. And then there's, there's like sudden death rules and all sorts that's of stuff cool. like that. So we're just using them for a bit more variety. We've done yeah. all of the rule book missions. We've done all yeah. of the chapter approved missions. Is that what it was called this year? Uh, Grand Tournament. Grand Tournament, yeah. that's it. So now we're going to have a try with the open war cards. Yeah. So we're going to do it a little bit differently, which we'll explain when we reveal the cards. But we're going to try and do the open war cards but with like a ninth edition twist. Yeah. yeah. So should be fun. We'll uh, we'll show you the cards after the lists. So I have brought an Outrider today. Ooh. So that's the fast attack uh, detachment. Uh, my Warlord, as always, is my Overlord and he's got the Immortal Pride Warlord trait again. So it gives him uh, a five up, feel no pain against mortal wounds, and it uh, makes all of my units ignore combat attrition modifiers. That's good. That's good. So when you've got big twenty man blobs, yeah, it just makes sense. And then his relic also also makes sense. It's the resurrection orb. Oh boy! <laughs> Again, if you're running twenty man blobs, yeah. you just you've kind of got to take it. Yeah, definitely. I didn't have the points for a crypt tech today, so I'm not bringing any warriors back that way, so the only way I can bring anybody back is with the res orb, so I'm going to have to play that at the right time. Yeah. Cryptex the... D3, sorry, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so alongside him, we've got my Royal Warden. I tried to use a list without the Royal Warden <laughs> yeah. in the previous video, and I've decided he's now an automatic take. I yes. think yeah. he will be in every so... single list from now on. We literally had the world's longest combat phase. It yeah. was literally from <laughs> turn one till turn five. Yeah, so hopefully... <laughs> Today, you, you'll see his worth. So that's the HQs. Um, for my fast attack slots, I have got three squads of scarabs. I so I've got 26 in total, which is one short of the maximum that you're allowed to take. But how many wounds is that altogether? <laughs> oh, I don't know. The four wounds are base. So oh, I have a 26 God. times four is. So 104. So I'll be saying, <laughs> I struggle killing units. <laughs> I won't kill any units this game. That's horrible. I haven't designed this list to like be an anti custodian yeah, list. You build them in secret as well. Yeah. yeah, you'll see my elite slot. We have got the uh, Catan Shard of the Void Dragon. Oh, it was so good. Which is just probably my favourite ever model. But he's so expensive, it's 350 points. Yeah, that's a lot. So much. the rest of the list, I just went for oh, what's the most amount of bodies I can get yeah, with yeah. what's left. So that turned into. 26 scarabs. And a lot of warriors. And then two 20-man blobs of warriors. One with the reapers and one with the flayers. I like you've seen many reapers. times on the channel before. These ah. these are my go-to now. Yeah. I, love, them. I, I yeah. love the reapers as a gun, especially with the shorter board, the shorter board like footprint. Yeah. The reapers are so good. They are. It reminds me of the breaches to my Tau. Yeah. I prefer them over like regular fire warriors. They're yeah. really good as well. They're so good. The brill. I think this, I've kind of figured out the core of my army now. Yeah. yeah. It's basically always going to be an Overlord, always going to be a Royal Warden, 20 man blobs of warriors, and then dilly about you just, with other stuff. Yeah, you, you need that core that's going to get your objectives and going to hold them, and yeah. then you can tweak it in and around. Because it's the same for me. I know that I'm always probably going to take Captain, Chaplain, Dreadnought, two, fi two five man intercessor squads, and then after that, I just you build, build, a change. build around it. Yeah. yeah. And then for points, I've got two Cryptothralls. So normally you bring them to protect your Cryptex. Yes. But today, literally, I've just brought them to sit at the back and hold the back objective and just be annoying. It's just a yeah. couple of extra bodies. Fair enough. So that's my list. But because it's the first time that the Void Dragon's been on the channel, I thought I might uh, yeah, run through his rules give you a few of his rules. Yeah. Um, he is quite a hard counter to vehicles, which could be interesting today. So... 
Mm -hmm. um, so one of his rules is called matter absorption, which is really cool. That sounds fun. At the end of each phase, roll 1d6 for each enemy vehicle model that was destroyed as a result of an attack made by the Catan. Yeah. Uh, and for each two plus, you regain a wound to a maximum of three oh, wow. wounds. Oh wow, that's really good. So you've got two vehicles, if he kills both of them on a two plus, he'll get two wounds back. Yeah. Which is, it could be quite key. Yeah. Because he's got that same Catan rule where it can only take three wounds per phase. Ah, that's so. That's you don't really have good. any sidekick, do you? No. No, so you'd have to, you can't kill him in one turn, basically. I've got a couple of shenanigans I could do, but it's, He's staying around at least till turn three, isn't it, sir? Yeah, I would have thought so. And he's got the Vin Metal as well. Yeah, so he's yeah, so, wounds. So if you turn. knock him down to three, how many wounds is this? Nine. Nine. So you could knock him down to three, but if you knock him down to three, He'll he's going to go to four, four which yeah. is going to be it. So Possibly annoying. five or six, or if, if you knock kill him, some stuff. If you only knock three off in shooting, he's then going to go to seven, which means you then can't kill him in one turn again. Yeah, so yeah. I would expect oh. him to survive at least three turns. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's pro but I've said it now, so we'll die first turn somehow. <laughs> yeah, there'll, be there'll be an explosion or something. I don't think I've got past turn three, so that'll, that'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Um, what else has he got? He has got the two Catan powers. The first yeah. one, the one that's at his specific power, okay. is called the Voltaic Storm. Ooh. So basically, select one enemy unit within 18 inch and visible to him. Yeah. Um, roll a d6 on a 2 plus it suffers d3 mortal wounds unless it's a vehicle in which case it suffers d6 mortal wounds oh, oh. yeah and, I, can, I can see why oh and and, and this more <laughs> until the start of the next turn if it's a vehicle yeah when you're trying to determine its um, characteristics that change as of losing wounds you have to half the number of wounds it's got so right, does the yeah. Telemon degrade yeah Telemon does what the Galaf's done so if I hit the Telemon, then when you're trying to work out is your it, you've got say a it's the closest target or is it any target? No, it selects one enemy unit within oh. 18 inch invisible. So That's I could select horrible. the, yeah, if I hit him it does decent model wounds to the Telemon and then you have to half the number of wounds he's got to figure out which profile you're using. <laughs> When I so, start playing my guards and please never bring him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's horrible. I mean, he's so good. I, he looks so good. He looks amazing. The upside more. is for you is that your, your custodians, so he's not sitting on twos. So yes. like even when he degrades the first time, so even if you hit him and you don't degrade him, but it'd half him anyway. Yeah. So he's going to be hitting, I think, worst you hit on his fours eventually? Fours, yes, yeah, sir. It's still so good. It's, it's good, yeah. but that ability is amazing. It's very good. It's very good indeed. That's so good. His second power, you just then choose one of the generic Catan powers. Oh, okay, yeah. I've gone for the Sky of Falling Stars. And I need to remember this time, you can use both powers every turn. Because <sighs> I've got a lot of Ooh. stick for that in a coins. <laughs> More um, wounds against you as well. This one, you select up to three enemy units within 24 inch. Yeah. Roll a d6 on a 1 to 5. If the result is less than the number of models in the unit, then you take d3 mortal wounds. Okay. So you've got a five man squad of Terminators. Yes, yeah, so I roll will... under a 5. Yeah. You'll take d3. Even the three squads, if I roll a 1 or a 2, yeah, yeah. you take d3. It's probably not the best one I could have taken now looking at your list. I yeah. didn't know what you were going to be running, yeah. but I can pick three units, so I get three attempts. Yeah. You know? well, you're going to do some of it. Spurs with Terminus as well, I've got that Unleash the Lion Strap. So, uh, so if you made it so that, that'd be a counter to it, but... It would. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, like, would, please yeah. stop model wounding my Terminators, <laughs> they're all now five separate units of one model each. Yeah. <laughs> that'd do it. That's interesting. And then, as you would expect, he is a beast in combat. Oh god. He's got five attacks. Yeah. He is strength 6 base, but his Spear of the Void Dragon, which is just amazing, is strength plus 3. Wow, it looks so, so he's good. Strength, strength nine. 9, AP minus 4, and D6 damage, unless it's against a vehicle, and then it's D3 plus 3 damage. Melt a Spear, nice. <laughs> melt a spear. Nice. It can also shoot it at 12 inches. It's a heavy 1, strength 9, AP minus 4, D6 damage, and each time an attack is made with the weapon, if a hit is scored, you draw a straight line between the closest point of the model's base. Oh, okay. And every thing, you roll a, make a wound roll against every unit underneath that line. Oh, wow, that's and cool. Each time an attack is made to a vehicle, it's D3 plus 3 instead of D6. My 
That's so if you so happen cool. to stand your two dreads next to each other, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it behind it. that's so cool. Yeah, really cool. And then he gets D6 additional attacks with his tail, which is strength 6, AP minus 2, and 1 damage. That's not bad, to yeah, be fair, so actually. 5 plus D6 attacks, hitting on 2s, strength 9. It's decent damage. strength, and it's got AP, so yeah. it do work. Be good for hordes, won't it? Good yeah. for everything, I think. Even Marines, because it's... You wounded him on freeze and then it's dropping the safe to a four up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still 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 decent. Yeah. Man, he's a beast. Hopefully it does better than the Nightbringer, who so far has not had a very good showing on the channel. No, he hasn't. We had game pre channel and he didn't do much. And then we had a game on the channel and he did, he did a bit. He, did but right. he, he killed Mephiston, didn't he? But he, he weren't he? mega influential to the game, was no. it? But I think in the past I've not built the rest of the list around yeah. the Catan, whereas this time, because I know I've sunk so many points into him, I've then compensated by yeah. getting yeah. lots of You're literally using him as like your linchpin of your army, aren't you? Yeah, he's the one who's there to deal the damage and to be a counter to your units and to, yeah. it's to keep your dreadnoughts from just charging straight into yeah. my into my lines and wiping out Aureus. So that's the list. It is exactly 1,500 points on the nose. Very nice. Uh, did I mention I was Novok? I don't think I did. No, no, I think you did. No, Novok today for my dynasty. So that means that everyone gets plus one to their charge, and yes. in the first round of combat, um, all their AP is increased by one. Does he get the dynasty rules? No, no, because he's a no. Everybody pet, will apart basically. from apart from my Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, apart from your Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Fire Dragon, I choose you. It's such, it's such a cool model. Think everyone, everyone would just auto lose if he came out in Pokemon or something. And be like, right, no, disconnect. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. I really enjoyed painting this guy. It I hope looks... you've uh, got a nice close up shot Amazing. of him. It, it looks so it's, good. Uh, it was a lot, a lot of fun. And I'm going to move on to building the Silent King next. Oh, boy. So look forward to seeing the King. King is. How many points is it, by the way? He's ridiculous. I think he's like 550 or something. He's a Lord of War. Yeah. Oh, so he's like a knight, isn't he? Yeah. That sort of category. Yeah. I'm excited, though. Yeah. So look out for that in the future. Yeah. Pass you on to Tom for his list. Cool, so I'll be running a patrol detachment today. So I've got the shield captain on bike as my warlord. Yep, nice. So he's captain commander, so plus two wounds. He's got the Standard. relic auric aquila, so it's uh, free up and vulnerable. Then nice. uh, reroll charges. And he's got the warlord trait. Uh, I think it's the minus one to hit one, so it's called Radiant Mantle. Right, it's a really so, good try. Yeah, it's, you've not seen the game yet, but yep. against Kyle, it came in so well. Yeah, it's really um, good. I won't spoil the game because Sam's not seen it yet. But no, I haven't. <laughs> this list is very similar to that right. That game, and it did really well. So That's a shame, I would have let to have watched that first and then learn from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, for my second HQ choice, I've got the Alaris uh, Terminator. So the second HQ choice is the Shield Captain in Terminator armor. So he's bringing the axe as normal, and he's also got uh, the Relic Praetorian Plate. So it chooses a character. You've seen this before, haven't you? Possibly. Um, yes, I have, yeah. So in your charge phase, mm -hmm. if my biker captain is within an inch of one of your model, model, sorry, um, the Terminator captain can teleport to him. Oh, it's really a, cool. Yeah, it's really good. So he, the bike gets into combat and then all of a sudden your shield captain turning it around just appears next yeah, to Yeah, so him. it's only in your charge phase. Right. So I can't do a turn one shenanigan. Yeah, you can't right, use right, the right. bike as like a delivery system for the yeah. captain as well. But it's a good like get out of jail free card if you catch him yeah, off Yeah, exactly. Guard. And yeah. when you've got two shield captains next to each other they can prove very powerful. I yeah, can imagine. Um, <laughs> And it means I can keep my Terminator in back lines, give him reroll ones, mm -hmm. then when I need him, charge the bike and catch him. Yeah. Uh, that's why I brought the Radiant Mantle for the biker because it keeps dying. Yeah, uh, that's Though it didn't die against you, did it? Um, uh, Alright, spoilers. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> I need, need to stop talking about that game. <laughs> uh, troop choice, two units of Secretarium Guard. They're just really good. Yeah, um, they are. Especially against Necrons when you've not really got too many shooting stuff, like at long range. I can yeah, just yeah, no. Do a couple of pop shots, see if it happens, but I don't think you'll be coming towards my back lines too much unless you charge so. your scarabs up, so 
they can just stay on top back objectives. Mm. Oh, actually, I, I did. I might have forgotten to mention that the Royal Warden has got the what's it called? Veil of Darkness. So okay. I could. Oh. You can pick up one infantry unit and teleport them oh, anywhere cool. on the board. Is that once per game or is it once, once yeah. per game? Yeah. Could prove useful then. So especially it could be a twenty-man blob of short range. It's done five AP minus two damage weapons. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit spicy. Yeah, a bit filthy. <laughs> Um, then, as for elites, Farman Squad of Valerius Terminators, um, they're just really good. Yeah. Um, in the game that Sam uh, saw, which will be going out uh, today, um, I really missed them against you, Kyle. Yeah, in our game, um, yeah, I think you did. They're just they are so, so good. good. They're very expensive, but they're worth the weight in gold. Yeah, they do work. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, no pun intended. Um, and I've also got two more boxes coming, so I'll have 12 at some point. Oh, God. Nice. Um, so That's I'll be, be trying to run a 10 mon blob then, just charge them all in with I like it. Unleash the Lions. Uh, other elite choice, Galassus Dreadnought. I just love him. Yeah, he's um, really cool model. The main reason I took him today is because I knew you were going to bring large blobs. So he's got Eternal Penitent, so he's plus one attack, reroll charges. Nice. It gets D3 attacks in combat. So yeah, on top, I think you yeah. can get up to 8 or 9 attacks. Awesome. Um, which will be really good. Um, but we'll see what happens. It should be good at clearing them warriors. Because he's got yeah. Flamer as well, hasn't he? Out of his yeah, sword. 2D6 Flamer, but it's strength 5, so winding them free against yeah. you. Heavy Flamer, basically. Yeah. Um, heavy support, I've got the Telemon Dreadnought again. Again, because you've got Hordes uh, playing Necrons, I've gone for two guns this time. Nice. Just sit at the back, just yeah. keep shooting your units. Hopefully, you don't reanimate too many. Yeah. Just keep firing at him, really. Yeah. Then, finally, um, I've got a Vindicare Assassin. Again, I had 100 points left. I thought, that's handy. Is it 100 points? That's the thing yeah. I'm most scared of in your army. Do you know what? 100 points as well. That's not really, bad good. At all. really good. I, I, I was tempted to tech the. Well, I was going to ask you, Sam, if I could borrow the model. <laughs> but uh, it's it's the one where in turn one uh, you roll four plus every time you do it. Oh, and it's um, Calidus. Calidus, yeah. yeah. Is that the female one, the polymorph yes. one? Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought I might try him, but the Vindicare sausage, is just, even if he's just there all game to just shoot at your Kaitan. Is that it, how you pronounce yeah. it? Katana thing. It's yeah. the it's the threat range of him. Like Sam wants to be. If you get stuck in combat, you want to fall. Use your Royal Warden to fall back. Yeah. But yeah. then you can force Sam's hand so he can't position the Royal Warden when he wants. Because exactly. yeah. if he pokes his head out, he's going to get took off. There's always that. It's obviously Necrons, but like the HQs for Necrons are integral. Yeah. So if you take out either the Warden or the Overlord, yeah, the, the list falls apart. Yeah. yeah. Especially because, another thing I forgot to mention, I've paid two CP to give the Overlord uh, the Pharon ability. Ah. So if he can do his mind will be done twice oh, every that's turn. Good. So Ooh. both blobs get my will be done. Oh god, that's Every horrible. Time. That's pretty good. <laughs> like for hundred points as well, it's just Yeah, hundred points, points for mild games as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially for your list when everything's so yeah. expensive, a hundred points is quite cheap. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um I was tempted to bring a squad of free bikes, but I've only got three bikes, so it'll either be a shield captain on bike yeah. or yeah, free yeah. bikes. I get what you're saying, yeah. Um but hopefully I can get it painted up in the next couple of weeks. Um and bring probably a squad of five or something like that. Yeah, because they've got so much Daka, they would reach the squad of warriors. Yeah. yeah, they would. It'd be horrible. Um, but I believe that's on the list. Um, I've only spent... So I've spent one for an extra relic, Yeah. one for Eternal Penitent, yeah. one for Captain Commander. That's so three. that's free. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, I'll spend the Victory of the Blood games as well. So that's two CP, so it's a bit like your strategy. Uh, or World War Trip. So, oh, Gift of Foresight, and it's uh, yeah. so the re roll um, the hit a But it's only damage. once per play turn. Right. So it's not like a hit, a wound, it's one or, one or other. Okay. But it may prove useful, and I, I tend to use a lot of command points trying to save the bike captain. So yeah. I might as well just commit to two. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got at least ten. Ten tries to use it, so yeah. see what happens. Yeah. So have you spent four before the game? Uh, spent five. Five, five. Two for Victor of the Blood Games. Right, yeah. so you'll be starting with seven. Yes. Yeah. And I've spent three, so I'll be starting with nine. Cool. 
So we'll come back to you with the open war cards. Yes. So we're going to reveal our open war cards live. So we'll do the objective first. The objective is going to be search and secure. So players roll off and then place objective markers numbered one to six. Yeah, usual rules for that. And then at the start of each battle round after the first round, so from turn two onwards, we randomly select one objective remarker and remove it from the battlefield. Okay. Is it both Interesting. Uh, no, it'll just be one per battle round. Okay. And then it says there each player scores one victory point for each objective marker they control, but we're still going to do the ninth edition yeah, if the mission. Five so we're going to yeah. call it um, five points for holding one, ten points for holding two, and then fifteen points for holding more. Yeah. So for the deployment map, we have got this one. So you, uh, a nine inch circle in the center and then corner to corner, pretty standard. Yeah. And the twist, indiscriminate projectiles. That sounds fun. Uh, each player rolls three D6 at the start of their turn. For each roll of a six, they can select one enemy unit on the battlefield, inflict D3 mortal wounds, or one mortal wound if it's a character. Could matter. Yeah, interesting. So that'll be a nice little bit of randomness for you there. So we're still going to do secondary objectives as well, which we will decide in a minute and let you know at the end of the first turn. So here we are, we have deployed. Tom, would you like to run for your deployment? Certainly, so uh, everything's clumped together. Yeah. Uh, I've got the Segatarian Guard uh, on Objective 3. Vindicare Assassin um, is just there. I didn't really know where to put him, so... Is there. <laughs> uh, Shield Captain on bike, uh, Glottis Dreadnought, Telemon Dreadnought, then in cover we've got the Squad of Three, uh, Secretarium, and the Terminator Captain. Yep. Then I've got the Squad of Five in Deep Strike. In Deep Strike, yeah. So you've put your three objectives, like a little triangle, which I think Sam's pretty much done similar in his. And also, these objectives were shuffled. Yeah, but yeah. somehow Tom's ended up with one, two, three, four, and then Sam's got four, five, six. Yep. Would as, you... as four secondaries as well. Yes. I've took whilst we stand, we fight. So oh. Five points for every time. Well, at the end of the game, if the survivor get five points for each. Ah, uh, so who's that on? Yeah, so who are your three? Two um, dreadnoughts and the bike captain. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, assassinate as well, and um, raise the banners. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Right, we've both taken Raise the Banners, even yeah. though um, objectives are going to be removed yeah. every turn. I forgot yeah. about that, yes, yeah, so just pray your banner don't get removed. Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, but... <laughs> for both of us. Yeah. 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 Good plan out. Yeah. Over to you, Sam. Right, so for my deployment, I put my objectives very similarly in a triangle. So I've got Objective 6 here next to this piece of uh, Stargate terrain. I've got this objective here, and then this objective next to the Bastion. So I've got a 20-man blob with the... Uh, Reapers on that objective, a 20 man blob with the flayers over on this objective, and then scarabs, scarabs, scarabs. Void dragon smack in the center so he can deal with anything that comes too close, and then two sneaky little crypto thralls just behind the back there within three inches of my home objective. Um, so they'll be raising the banners there. So I've also got raised the banners, um, and I've of course got purge the vermin. And then I've taken attrition. Oh, okay. Boss. Yeah, should be good for Necrons. Yeah, you're running big blobs. Yeah. Uh, Tom's got smaller units yeah. in size, so it should, could be a good one for you. Hopefully. Hopefully. One of your squads of warriors is more than all my units put together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have more models in one squad than models in Tom's entire army. <laughs> oh, custodies. Would you like to do the roll live, gentlemen? Absolutely. So you goes first. So I don't know if I want to go first or I've second. Tom's, Tom's already gone. Again. Oh my goodness. That's the second six he's rolled already today. And I get three. So Tom, it's up to you. Do you want to go first or second? I'll let you go first. You're going to let me go Ooh. first. Interesting. So, right, well, I'll tell you then straight away. Oh. My first command protocol. Yes. It's going to be protocol of the sudden storm. And I'm going to choose directive two. Which means that if this unit's performing an action, it can still make ranged attacks. Nice. With weapon. Get them banners up. So I can get my banners raised turn one. So I'll do my movement and we'll come right back. Right then, so um, first of all, in my command phase, I put my will be done on both of the big blobs of warriors. So they've now got plus one to hit. 
and I put the Royal Wardens fall back and shoot and charge ability on the squad with the Reapers. And then as you can see, I have advanced this unit with the Reapers because they're an assault weapon. They're now within range of Objective 2 and Objective 5. These Scarabs shuffled up to hold Objective 5 as well. These Scarabs advanced to just skirt up this flank. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing with them yet. They're just kind of hiding behind that building waiting to pounce on Objective 3. The Void Dragon has just pushed up into the centre, staying out of sight of the Telemon for now. Uh, and just waiting to rebuff anything that charges into my lines. My two characters are staying hidden behind the big scenery in the middle, yeah, away from the Vindicare. Because I'm really scared of that Vindicare. He could one-shot both of them. This unit of warriors has just nudged up to get in range of the Telemon, staying on Objective 6. And back here, my two Crypto Thralls have uh, raised the banner on Objective 4. And this unit of warriors has raised the banner on Objective 6. And then I've just realised I can't raise the banner on either of these two because I wouldn't then be able to shoot. Because of the command protocol, they've got to be in range of a character to be able to do it. Ah! As the Royal Warden fluffed his advance and only rolled a one. He's not within. He's not within range to give them that buff anymore. Yeah. So they're still holding those two objectives, but I can't raise the banner. So I've got a banner on four and a banner on six. Yes, you've got two banners. And funnily enough, we just Sam pointed this out off camera. Because we're doing like the open wall with a knife edition twist, and we've got secondaries, yes. raise the banners on objectives that disappear. That'll be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, I just hope I don't get a fall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it for the command phase and for movement. We'll do the Catan powers in a minute, but we wanted to roll this live because yeah. it's fun. So we need to roll three d6, and any sixes I can choose units and do d3 mortal wounds for some sort of debris falling from the sky. So, come on, sixes. Hey, you've got one. So I get to pick one unit and do D3 mortal wounds, unless it's a character, and then I can only do one mortal wound. So, I will choose this guy. He's not a character, is he? No. What's his name again? Uh, Galatus Dreadnought. The Galatus Dreadnought. So I'm going to do D3 mortal wounds to him. That's a good start. Here we go. He gets... Two. Ooh. Fantastic. You I'll roll any? the uh, feel no pain now. Yeah, just do it now, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know you got a feel no pain. It's only six up, so I want. Yeah, so nope. he's down to seven now. Excellent. Mark that for a minute. So, we shall move swiftly on to the Catan's um, powers. So, I'm going to start with his specific Catan power, the Voltaic Storm. He has to select an enemy unit with an 18 inch invisible, so I'm going to stick with the. Gelatin Dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a 2 plus, oh boy. you've suffered D6 mortal wounds. And until the next start of the next turn, uh, you have to half your wounds when determined. He doesn't, have that, he doesn't so. have that. That's fine. It's the D6 mortal Which wounds. Which, if it did, would be funny because he's down to 7, so if you're all the 6, he'd have one wound. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so basically, on, oh. two, on a 2 plus, first of all. I nearly said, so long as I don't roll Don't do <laughs> it! I didn't, so now I get to do D6 Mortal Wounds. Oh boy, this could be painful. I'm going to re-roll that. I don't blame you. You can feel the tension. <laughs> it's horrible. Two. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, I'll take it, I've done potentially four wounds to him. Roll, you feel no pain, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. No. That's fine, I've done four wounds to him, that's... Yeah, and you've not even like shot anything yet. Very happy with that. I'll now do his second power. Ooh. Sky of Falling Stars. So I have to choose three enemy units within 24 inches. So that is... Should be everything. Yeah, it'd be most things. I've got to roll under the number of Ah, okay. So the only thing that's worth doing it on is your two Sagittarium Guard. So, I'll do that. So How many units do you pick? I have to pick three. So you're doing both guard and then just like the I dread? Can't, I can't do the other one because I can't roll under a one. Is a one not an auto pass? No. Ah, okay. A six is an auto fail. Right, so okay. Like if you had 30 boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't automatically do it. I, I get you, yeah, yeah. So we'll start with this squad first. Yes. Uh, if I roll under a three, so one or... Do you know what? Let me have a think. 
and come back to you. I've got a stratagem Ooh. for one CP where I can change the Catan power for something else. So I'm just going to have a quick look through and see if there's something that's going to be better. Because, like I said, I chose these without knowing what I was going to be going against. Yeah, yeah. And now thinking about it, I'm, I can only roll a one or a two, which just seems a bit rubbish. It seems a bit hard, so doesn't it? Yeah, see if there's something else I can switch it to. Right, sorry about that. I had a, a look, and there is one that I might switch it to later, because there's one where you roll for each enemy unit within nine inches, which at the minute is nobody, but in the next turn could be everything. So I might do that next turn. So we'll start with this unit of Sagittarium Guard. On a one or a two, I do D3 mortal wounds. Nope. And then this unit of Sagittarium Guard is exactly the same thing. Yeah. On a one or a two, D3 mortal wounds. Whee! D3 mortal wounds. So we're looking for a three. That'll kill a... a yeah, kill one of them off. Yeah. There we go. Kills one. Beautiful. And against custodies, that's huge. That's, yeah, excellent. That's really good. I mean, I've done done quite a few wounds to that gelatin dreadnought, and I've taken out one of your Sagittarium guards. You've done seven wounds already, like seven mortals. Yeah, that's yeah, a good round. Not anything yet, so pretty nice. We'll come back to you in the shooting phase. Slight change. Uh, I am going to spend the CP. I'm going to do a random Catan power. So basically, I roll the dice, and whatever that number relates to the Catan power, that's the power that he does. I'm hoping not for the one that's everything within nine inch, because that would be nothing. <laughs> so it is power number three. Ooh. We'll find out what that is. Okay, so it's Sky Falling Stars again. So I'm going to choose this squad of Sagittarium Guard, and uh, I need to roll a one or a two again. I did double check. We can still do this power yeah. even though they've already, even though he's already done this exact power. So just if anybody was about to comment or anything, he is allowed to do the same power twice. So a one or a two. Nope, I rolled a four last time. Now for the other squad, because they've lost one, I now have to roll yeah. one. So this is a lot harder? No. No. Oh well, it was worth it for a CP, it could have been amazing. I was just being a little bit greedy. So now we will come back to you in the shooting phase. Okay, starting off the shooting phase is going to be my 20-man uh, blob with their Reapers. Five of them aren't in range, because it's only a 12-inch gun, but 15 of them are, so that's still 30 shots. They're all going into the Gelatin Dreadnought. Who's only got five wounds left. Yes, I'm also popping a CP for Disintegration Capacitors, which means that sixes to hit will automatically wound. Let's do it. So I'm hitting on threes, because I might well be done with them, but then I advanced. Oh, nearly through the hole. Wow, that is some sixes there. Yeah, that's a lot of sixes. Let's just get them out first. So you've already got enough wounds to kill you. Which is a nice start. <laughs> it's quite a uh, few ones then, as well. Oh yeah, there is. Hits. Still hitting on threes. I mean, that is a lot of ones, yeah, but we'll take it. So now I'm going to be wounding you on fives. <laughs> oh, I've got a few more. So you've got... Well, actually, that's terrible. Yeah, that's not great. Three more wounds. So you've got nine in total at minus two. Okay, so that'll just be a four up save. Ooh. Uh, is on one wound. Oof. Yeah, you've took him down. Then I'll just re roll them again in case he ignores any. Oh, yeah. Uh, he Ignore ignores one. one. So, so he's down to two. Two wounds left. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, let me have a think about what I'm going to shoot next, and we'll come back. Right, this is the second and final bit of shooting. My 20-man uh, blob with the flayers. Twelve of them can see the gelatin, and the other eight can see the telemon. Um, I'm going to pop a stratagem called Relentless Onslaught, which means that on modified hit rolls of six, score an additional hit, because... Thomas also popped a stratagem called uh, Grim Responsibility. Grim Responsibility, making my shooting attacks negative one strength. So I'm now going to be wounding this gelatin on sixes. So I need all the hits I can get. So 12 shots hitting on twos, but sixes are an extra hit. Only the one six this time. So I'll just put that one with that and remove these two ones. And now this is the hard part. We're wounding on sixes. Really need a few of these. I've got exactly two, and it is minus one. 
So it'll be three up saves. Yeah, so just fail both of these three ups, please. Love. Oh, one of them. Then it's going to be a six to ignore. Wound. It's a live one. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, it's going to die in Overwatch, it's fine. <laughs> um, I literally think that is my shooting done and probably the end of my turn. So we'll have a quick check. I'll see if I've scored any points and we'll come back to you. So on to turn one for the Custodies. Sam didn't score any secondaries or anything like that. So we're both on zero points at the minute. Um, so the only movement I've really done is the Galatus and the Shield Captain have moved up. The Galatus is more or less dead. So I might as well try and kill some things before um, he does actually die. Yeah. Then the Vindicare Assassin has moved up. So he's got a clear line of sight to uh, Sam's characters. Uh, I've got assassinate, so I'm going to try and kill them. Because uh, once they fall, then uh, it's not got his plus one to hit or anything like that, them sort of shenanigans. Yep. Um, the Sagittarium Guard have moved up slightly as well, just so they're within three inches of the Vindicare as well. Oh, yeah, down here, sorry, isn't it? Yeah. Then everything else has stayed still, because when the Telmon doesn't move, he gets double shots with his bolt launcher. Oh, nice. So it'll be shooting quite a lot of shots. Um, so I'll just gather some dice and we'll go into the shooting phase for the custodians. Before we go into the shooting phase, I've got a couple of things that I need to do. So I'm going to be playing the objectives. I'm not going to shoot with the Sagittarium. I'm going to do raise the banners. Um, it could matter, it couldn't matter. I'm not sure. I'm just trying something different. Uh, then I've got the 3D6... Um, Meteor Strike yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Basically, any sixes is the three mortal wounds. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Oh, that okay. was very easy. Um, <laughs> the uh, Vindicare Assassin's an infantry as well, so you could raise the banner with him if you wanted. Uh, no. <laughs> sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely sure. <laughs> <laughs> For that cheekiness, I'm going to do... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with him first. <laughs> so he's gonna go into the Overlord first. Oh boy! Oh. So two's to hit. Two's to him because you're in. Oh, why is it two's to he's hit? He's moved. He's moved. See, it's freeze. Oh wait. Only if he stands still, I believe. Is it only if he stands still? Let's double check it. Let's check that. Yeah. <laughs> right. So because I did move, it is hitting on freeze. So I'm gonna spend the CP and uh, re-roll it. So let's have a look. Three to hit. Ooh. Wounded on the two. Oh, oh no! I hit my life. Tom, oh. why do you do this to yourself? I mean, yeah. you don't, it's the dice, but still. I feel bad, man. That's, yeah. that's shocking. Oh. I'm going to pop another CP. Ooh. Um, uh, it basically can shoot twice. Oh. At a different character. So oh, I'm trying really? to kill the... Oh, nice. I forgot what it's Royal called. Warden. Yeah. Yeah. But I might as well do that. Yeah. Because I can see this game going downhill very fast. <laughs> so I might as well spend the CP whilst I've got it. Come on, yeah. Tom. So hitting no, on, on that. It's a six. And then two. Three. That hits. So uh, have you got the invulnerable? Or no. I so think he ignores invulnerable. Anyway. Minus three. It was a four that I wounded, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll just roll the damage now. So it's two damage. You might be able to kill him. Come on, six. No. No. So, because it hasn't hit, uh, killed him, yes. is, I think the ability is called Headshot. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, goes three up, four up, five up, six Oofed. up. Each one is a mortal wound. Here we go. He's got two left. Three up. So now he's got one left. So, need a four up. There we go. There we go. He's, he's dead. dead. He's popped him. So, oh, that's huge. That is um, a big kill. So, I'll get three points at the end of the turn for Assassinate. And. I popped two CP for it, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I've got CP that I might want to spend elsewhere, so I'll just have a think and we'll come back to you. Okay, so that worked out quite well. Cost two CP, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to do the Galatus next. So it's going to do his 2d6 flame into the chitin. Cool. Uh, I keep pronouncing it wrong, but it's Kaito. Everybody says it different. Yeah, you... About it. I've been calling your boy a gelatin yeah. dreadnought. So. <laughs> 2d6 <laughs> six hits. Six. What strength is it? Uh, strength six, I believe. And I am toughness seven, I believe. So be fives, whatever then. Yeah, five. Five or six. Yeah, toughness seven. Uh, two go through, minus one rend, a single damage. Uh, he's got his four up in Vun. 
He's passed one failed one, so he's taken one wound so far this phase. Put him down to, well, just put one on for now. Okay, um, I'll do the shield captain next, shooting into him. So I'll have 12 attacks because he's in rapid fire range. Yes, yep. the hurricane bolters. Hitting on twos, rerolling the ones. And then it'll be fives again to yeah. wound. This is how to do it though, just keep making him make them in ones. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's a few as well. Uh, it's five gone through. Oh, wow. Oh. So it'll be um, no rend, just one damage. Yeah, he's just got a four up. Uh, actually, they changed that. Oh, no, he's got a three up save and a four up in. Oh, okay. That's a change. So, I get threes. And he's failed two, so that's the maximum wounds he can take this turn. He wants CP. Well, oh, I am tempted. Are you planning on shooting anything else with him? I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Tell <laughs> <laughs> Telemon can't see him. Your two Sagittarium have Bannered. banners. You vindicate yeah. shot. No, I'm going to save my CP for now. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to get the uh, stats for the Telemon. Now I'll be shooting with him next. On to the next shooting victim. On the <laughs> Telemon into the big blob of warriors in front of my shield captain and in front of the Dreadnought as well. Yes. Yeah. So he's not moved, so he'll get 12 shots with his bolt launcher first of all. <sighs> So 12 shot. Uh, oh, this is just your first gun. So, sorry, this is the uh, beam character of sticks. So, because it's got two guns, it's, it's heavy six. Right. So, it'll be 12 oh. shots in total. Are you wanting to pop any strats or anything? I don't think I've got anything that's going to help me here. No? No. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, two's to hit. No ones to reroll. Nice. Uh, what's your toughness? Four. So, wounding on threes then. Uh, so still got eight go through. Eight. So it's minus two rend, a single damage each. Okay. So if it's minus two, that means I'm going to be getting sixes. Uh, I make one. So that means that seven have dropped. I assume he's got more firing. He has, yeah. Yeah, so we'll just keep a track of the fact that seven are currently dead. Then I'll do the bolt launcher into him as well. So hit on twos, reroll on the two ones. Of course. And uh, you might as well just go. The ball hit. And yeah, that's ruined. Especially yeah. with uh, <laughs> custodies. Then wounded on freeze. Oh, that's amazing. That's a All really. Ten. Oh nice. wow. Uh, this one is minus one rend this time. A single okay. damage. So I've got fives this time. Then is he finished shooting? He has, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> right, fives. Okay, I've passed two. So that means another eight have dropped. Oh, wow. So that means in total, if there were seven before and eight there, that's 15 warriors have dropped. So I get to do 15 reanimation protocol rolls. And we are looking for fives. And we can re-roll ones. I need a big roll here. That's not bad. So I can only see one one to re-roll. No. So let's get rid of these successful ones. Oops. That looks like four. So I'm guessing that means 11 are going to be dead. So five, eight, 11. So you've cut down 11 of them, leaving nine left. Okay. And I will sort that out in a minute. Uh, that's all my shooting phase. So um, once you've removed your models, I've got some charges to do. Cool. Cool, so onto the charge phase. The Galatus is going to charge into the Scarabs. Um, so I'll roll that mistake. first. Let's have a look. Here we go, so he's re-rolling. 12. Oh, wow! Oh, go wherever you want, sir. I believe that's the best charge you've ever done on this channel. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> Just <laughs> into some Scarabs. Yeah. I'm encouraging you, Tom. Come Wait, on, it's okay. He so rolled a 12 and moved to 5. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in fact, I'll move. For, for that comment, I'll yeah. move. <laughs> Further away from objective, you do that, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh dear. So, I'm gonna place him there. Yeah. Just see if he's in... See if he's in engagement range of birth. I, I think so. Is. Yeah. Is Does he just half an inch? Yeah. Do I have a quick look? Yeah, you have a, you have a little measure up, Sam. 
It's half an inch is it so is awkward. Definitely it definitely is on this side. Yeah, half an inch is really it's horrible. Is, yeah, if that's your intention, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Right, I'll leave him there for now, just in yeah. case it doesn't... Well, it's got probably a seven inch charge. We'll have a look. Seven inch, seven, that'll yeah. be that's definitely... easily enough. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just leave that's him there, um, because... I feel like I've got a plan. I keep Ooh. saying that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? Yeah, exactly. That's all like um, Roderick. <laughs> I have a cunning plan. Uh, What's that from? Uh, Blackadder. Uh, yeah, Blackadder, yeah. Never seen it. Oh, it's before Guilty. your time, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all, all you guys are a lot... Of, well, I just... Way oh, now! Let me out. <laughs> We'll be back. I'm going to cut you off. We'll be back in the fight phase. Cool. So into the combat phase. Sans very kindly told me what the scarabs can do. <laughs> so I'm going to do the Galactus first. Yes. Um, so I can't just self-destruct one exactly. of them and finish him off. Well, I know that you're going to be rolling a one anyway, so... I might not do it. I've, I've fallen out of it. So five attacks base. It gets an extra one uh, because it's got Eternal Penitent. Nice. Then extra D3 uh, because he's in combat. What? Cursed with the voodoo! <laughs> wow. You just did it to me with the scarab thing. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> so hitting on twos. All hit. Of course. Um, what's your toughness? On scarabs? Yes. Three. I think it's going to be twos for you, mate. Um, Must be. No, it's threes. No. What mate, toughness? What's three for you? Seven. Yes, yeah, twos. Yeah, twos. It's double. Double. Oh, toughness three. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you rolled oh, three. How many ones? Three. Four. Four. Four ones! Oh, me. I kind of see. Wow. Yeah. So. No, that's, no, so save? That's a wound. Yeah, so minus. Three damage each, so it kills. Three damage two. each. Uh, yeah. So it kills one and one's down to one wound. Oh, that's dangerous. You don't want to do that. You don't want to leave a scarab base on one wound. That's just asking for an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> so you've killed one base, and yep. one base is down to one. That was uh, that base. interesting. Yeah, very and interesting. Um, go these dice, I thought they were good. They're not. It was set up so well. <laughs> yeah. you could, how many hits did you get? All nine? All nine, yeah. Uh, sorry, I got seven. Seven? So seven. you could have done seven, 14. 20, you could have done 21 wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and instead I did six. nine. Well, six, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's how it yeah. is playing as custodians. Um, I'm just trying to decide now whether I want to interrupt before your shield captain attacks. I don't think there's any point. Because you, know, you can't kill all the scarabs. Can't I? How many does he get? I'm, I'm under the <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, then I was like, oh Jesus. I've only got five attacks. So. No, I need to save CP, so I might need them two to auto pass with some warriors in a minute. Cool. Uh, I'll do the. Shield captain now into the scarabs. So Ooh. five attacks, hitting on twos, and it is strength. You're gonna be twos again, strength I assume. Six, yeah, twos, yeah. twos, but it can reroll because it charged. Nice. Because of his lance. All five, five go through. Any AP? I've got six Minus saves, three. So yeah, no saves. <laughs> so D three damage each. So I'll roll him. Well, yeah. first one him. I'll kill him. Yeah. First one kills him. Yeah. Then I'll have to roll two at a time because that, you've got four wounds each, haven't you? Yes. So just do the f yeah. So that's so that one dead. Kills dip. another base. And that kills another base. And that so that's, kills another base. So he's a lot more efficient than the Galactus. <laughs> yeah. I've still got five left though. Yeah, that's quite a lot of attacks coming my way. Yeah. Um, do you suffer attrition as well or not? Um. What do you mean? Well, morale. Oh, morale. morale. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that could be a fail. I'm going to ship 10 though, and the one I lost yeah. 5, so I need to roll a 6 to fail. Well, you'll be rolling 1 for um, the auto explode. Yeah, well, I'm not going to now because you've, no, you've taken out the one wounded base. Ah. And I'm not going to pop it, I'm just going to attack you and just hope. Yeah. Well, in that case then, we'll end that there and I'll go to the other side so we can see Sam do his scarabs. So it's my turn to strike back. Tom's just told me that his gelatin dreadnought has got a 2 up save against my scarabs and I really don't want him to survive. So, even though I vowed last game not to do it anymore, <laughs> I'm gonna spend one CP to auto explode one of my scarab swarms. So on a two plus. There we go. Three, <laughs> that glance at Tom then. Three mortal wounds. 
Yes. No, he's gone. The power. Although right. you do need to roll because he's got I feel know. no pains. Yeah, so yeah. D3 mortal wounds. No, I'm not. Let's see. Three. Come on. Three Unless six. he rolls three sixes, he's dead. He is dead. Yes. Good um, does he explode? He will do. He does on a six. No. no. Excellent. So we'll go straight into my attacks. I'll pile them in in a minute. They're obviously yeah. all going to be able to get into. Uh, Combat. Yes. I've got four bases left after that one's been exploded. So it's four attacks each. So 16 attacks. Hit on fours, but sixes are automatically wounds. So these are all into the shield, Captain. He's not minus one to hit or anything, is he? He is. He is. So I'm going to be hitting on fives. Fives. And then sixes, like Sam said, auto wound. So you've got two wounds already. And they're also the only two hits. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you've got two wounds, sir. Yeah, two ups. Oh, it can re-roll once per... Yeah, you oh, can, because of his thing. Fine, yeah, it's fine. Good. I don't care. The gelatin's dead, and that's what matters. Um, I'll have to do my pile-ins now, and we'll see how many warriors can get into range as well. Right, some token attacks back from my warriors into his uh, shield captain. They are going to have one attack each. They are hitting on threes, because you're minus one, but I've got my will be done. And their attacks will be AP minus one, because I'm no Vok. And you charged me. So, hitting on threes. Good start. Uh, I'm going to be wounded on fives, though, yeah? Yes. So you've got two wounds at minus one. So, we've got the three up. And it's all good. Fine. I think that's it then for your turn, isn't it, Tom? Uh, yes, so I've got three points for assassinate. Yes, very nice. Um, and then I'll pop the banners for next turn. Yep. And I'm on three objectives. Objectives now, but it won't matter until no, but it will for next it. turn. So then, at the end of the battle round, I didn't get any points for attrition because I killed a unit, but you also killed a unit because yeah. you killed the Royal Warden. So we'll do come back to you in the start of Necron's turn two. Before we go, though, do we roll a dice to see which objective disappears? We do. Oh, we'll do that at the start of the next turn. Okay. Actually, we've got some morale to do, haven't we? Oh yeah, that's a good yes. point. So my scarabs are down to four bases. Yes. Meaning they've lost six. They are leadership ten. So, on a five or more, um, we'll be doing some negative combat stuff. Damn. There we go. So, that means one flees. Yep. And they are down to half strength. And they, are they in range of the Overlord? No. So, ones and twos for the remaining three will also be fleas. Oh, my God. Oh. Left. <coughs> um, the Warriors will do the same thing. They are down to nine, so I've lost 11, so I've auto-failed. Unless I roll a one. one. Unless you roll a one, yeah. So I need to roll a one. No. So they failed. They are not less than... Oh, no, they are less than half as well. And they're not in range. Of the Overlord, are they just Ooh. out? They are just in range of the Overlord, Ooh, so it's nice. just ones. Just ones. Yeah. Because so he makes them ignore attrition, doesn't One's they? fled, so we'll just call that you. So I've got... Eight left. They're ignoring the modifier, so it's just ones. So another one has fled. So two are gone. Now we will come back to you in my turn two. So it is the start of battle round two. Yeah. And it's been handed to me to roll a d6 to see which objective goes. Yeah, so roll low, please. It's Damn six. you, Kyle! <laughs> which one's that? This one. Now, that's just cost me five. I am an impartial third party. Your anger does not affect me, sir. <laughs> oh, right, I need to have a rethink. Okay, we are in Necron's turn two. In my command phase, I've put my will be done on the two blobs of warriors, like normal. Then we shall roll the cosmic... Yeah, the it is, debris the coming down, yeah. isn't it? So any sixes I can do as if. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> wow. Wait, I still got one, so I can do D3 tour. Ooh. Let's do... Does I tell them I've got a feel no pain? Yes. Lovely. <laughs> Let's do this unit of Sagittarius. Yeah. Two. So one guy's down to one wound. That's not too bad. It's a good start. So next, I am going to pop 
the orb of eternity. It's the happening. The Lord. So I am missing, if there are seven there, I'm missing 13 warriors. So they shall come back on fours and re rolling ones. So we'll re roll these ones first of all. That looks like quite a few already. That's a good roll. Oh, oh my goodness. So I've only failed three, which I think means 10 are coming back. Yes, it does. So 10 warriors will reassemble themselves and get back in this fight. And then we'll come back to you after my movement phase. Right, we're at the end of Necron's movement phase. Um, you can see over here, the scarabs have moved up 10 inches from behind this building. They are going to feast on a Vindicare assassin, hopefully. This squad of freshly reanimated warriors has fallen back from the shield captain to within three inches of this objective. So if I can clear this stuff out, I will then hold objective three. My overlord has a... Did he advance? No, he just moved from around there. He is now performing the banner on this objective here. The scarabs have stayed still to just protect him. These two cryptothralls have stayed still in objective four to hold that. And this blob of warriors has pushed up to get some shots off down that flank. I scored 10 points at the start of the turn for holding two or more objectives. And now we're going to go into some um, Catan powers. So I am going to spend a CP on Strange Echoes. So that means that I can swap one of his Catan powers. So I'm getting rid of Sky of Falling Stars because the maximum uh, unit that Tom's got now is two models. So I mean, I'd have to roll ones. So I'm getting rid of that and I'm swapping it for Cosmic Fire. So first when you roll a D6 for each enemy unit within nine inches, on a four plus, it suffers D3 mortal wounds. Oofed. So we're gonna do that first. So we shall start with the shield captain on bike. On a four plus, you'll take D3 mortal wounds. No. Telemon, on a four plus, you'll take D3 mortal wounds. Yes. So the Telemon takes one. Six up feel no pen. No, so he takes a wound. This unit of Sagittarium could kill off one of those models, that would be very handy. Just need a 4+. plus. Nope. The Vindicare? No. Excellent. That is everybody. So, that cost me one CP to do one wound to a Telemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, next we will do his Voltaic Storm. So select a unit within 18 inches, which is the Telemon. Um, on a 2 plus, you take d6 mortal wounds. Yes! Ooh! <laughs> so d6, come on, big money this time. 2. I am going to spend a CP on that, because I want this Telemon dead. Right into a 1. How dare you, sir? 4. That's, that's much right. better, that's worth a CP. I'm going to mark that one off while you're rolling. 6s. None. I Excellent. swear that never works for me. That's not bad. So it's down to nine, but is that the one where it halves? Yes, and now you have to half the number of wounds that you've got to see what profile is on. Is it on. rounding up or down? That is a good question. So, if this unit is a vehicle unit, it's characteristic changes, it loses wounds, then it halves the number of wounds it has remained in when determining that characteristic to use. So it doesn't <laughs> specify. So you've got four and a half wounds when you're trying to figure it out. I'd assume you always round up. Well, on the thing, it's, it's a bracket anyway, isn't it? So it's oh, like it's a bracket, three, yeah. Three, so oh, yeah, yeah, so ignore me. I assume you'll be on your second bracket. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good point. Um, that's pretty good. I've got three CP left, so... You know, you know when you want to do it. I definitely want to do it. So we will roll to see what other random Catan power I'm going to do. Um, yeah. A four this time. That is cosmic fire again. Oh wow! Is that the one? Excellent. Which the one I've just done. <laughs> so everybody within nine inches. <laughs> Let's start with the Sagittarium this time. Yep. On a four plus, that guy will die. Yes. Haha. <laughs> oh, it's all coming up Millhouse now. Right. Uh, is it just one mortal wound? Or more? It's D three, but he only yeah, had one. Man. Oh wait, carries yeah, it over. Carries over. So it should have been. Three. See. Wow. Thank you, Kai. No, you know what it's mean to me. So, 
I try not to be. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, so it goes yeah, down yeah. to one wound. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Vindicare on a four plus. Nope. Uh, tell him on. Can we even do some more mortal wounds to him? Yes. Oh, wow. D3. Oh, three. that's huge. <laughs> this is right, so this is the best Catan phase I've ever had. Uh, it saves one. One, that's fine. So, so it, it takes another two. two. So it's down to seven. Yes. So you've now got three and a half wounds when yes. determining. Um, and finally, the shield captain on bike. Oh, that's gone out of the tray. Yes. D3. Another three! Wow. <laughs> what a turn. I'm down to six. Normally, my Catan do nothing in this phase. I... Amazing. He's gone down to six wounds. Um, wow. That's the best CP I've ever spent. Wait, I need to compose myself and come back to the shooting phase. <laughs> So we're going to kick off the shooting phase with the Void Dragon while it's hot. He's going to put his, what's it called, the Spear of the Void Dragon. He's oh, going wow. to shoot it into the Telemon. So I could have potentially done this so I could get more than one target, but I forgot that it did the beam. So it's the first time using him. I'll remember that in the future. Um, he's going to be hitting on a two. Excellent. It's strength nine, so he's going to be wounding on a three. That is a wound, oh. sir. It's AP minus four and D3 plus three damage. It's four up. There we go. made it. Fine. Right. Um, we're going to do the Warriors next. I just need to check some Rangers and look at some stratagems. I have spent two more CP. The Warriors are going to fire into the Telemon. So I've popped one for Relentless Onslaught and one for Disintegration Capacitors, meaning that Sixers will automatically wound and generate an extra hit. Wowzers. And they're hitting on twos because of my will be done. Goodness gracious. So, come on, sixes. Yeah, wow. that'll do it. <laughs> okay, let's get these sixes out first. So these have all already wounded. That is a lot of sixes, man. And then I get that many extra hits as well. So I get eight more hits. I have dropped five. So basically I need three more. So let me get three more dice. So they've already wounded, but these ones I need to roll. So these are gonna be wounding on sixes as well. Your toughness yes. eight. And my gun's only strength four. So sixes to wound. Hello. Got another four. So you got 12 at minus one. Three ups. Oh. Ooh. Five will come through. Five. Then I'll just roll five dice again. Yeah. Fit sixes. One. Uh, just one. So you've lost four. He's down to three wounds. He's down to three wounds. That's a good bit of shooting there, Sam. Yeah, I'll take that. It costs a lot of CP, but it's worth it. To say you've not really got much anti tank other than the Void Dragon, you, you're getting work done with these warriors. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weight of dice, isn't it? I think that's probably it for my shooting. They fell back. Scarabs can't shoot. Overlord has got a 12 inch staff of light which can't reach anything. So yeah, um, charge phase. We'll go straight into it. My Scarabs are going to charge uh, both of these units here. Do you want to watch? And there's no point. No, okay. It looks like I need about a four. A 10 will- That'll do it. Definitely do it. I'm probably going to encircle them as well, so. Give me a second and I'll get these in. Yeah, right then. Um, combat phase, we will kick off with the main event. The Void Dragon is going to go into your bike captain. I'm going to be hitting you on threes because of your minus one to hit. Is that in combat as well as everything yeah, else? Just yeah, just minus one to hit, whatever. Right. Awesome. So, hitting you on threes. Uh, it's made a difference for one. So I've missed two. Uh, it's strength nine, so I'm going to be wounded on threes. Oh, that's rubbish. Um, I have only got one CP left. And I don't feel like spending it, so I'm just going to have to live with it. You've got one wound, sir. And three, you're three up. He's okay. absolutely fine. Wow. Cool. Do you want to interrupt with anybody? No. No? So, we shall move on to my next charging target, my Scarabs. I'm going to split them four and four. So these four are going to go into the Vindicare. Those four are going to go into the Sagittarium. So they've got four attacks each. 
So it's going to be 16 into the Sagittarium first, and then 16 into the Vindicare. They are hitting on fours, so you're but first. Uh, I'm going into the Sagittarium first. Cool. Okay, I thought yeah. you were going to do something oh, no. then. <laughs> oh, 16 into the Sagittarium, hitting on fours, but sixes also wound. So you've got three wounds already. Uh, and a few more hits. That's not bad. And then I am strength three, so I'm going to be wounding on fives. Yeah. So you've got two more. So you've got five wounds at minus one. Uh, it goes two, three up then. Yeah. Uh, so that's got that one guy. One guy that's dead, all I wanted. Got one dead. Excellent. So then we'll do the same again. Sixteen into the Vindicare. He's not got any negative to one hit, negative nope. hit or anything now. So um, I'm going to let me just have a check. It. I think it's only in shooting. Yeah, I think it's only in shooting and only if he's on terrain. Yeah, it's just in ranged. Yeah, cool. So, 16 attacks now into the Vindicare. Hitting again on fours and sixes, auto wound. So you've got one wound thus far. And not that many hits this time. That's pretty woeful. Um, wounding... On five is on toughness four. Toughness four, yeah. So wounding on fives. Uh, you've got two more, so you've got three wounds at minus one. Uh, so you've just got a four up in bundle. Yeah. And you failed one. Yeah, I'll just take the one wound. Yeah. And then I will pile in, or consolidate, because I finished attacking. So I'll just come in on there. Go down there like that. Uh, that's it for me. Yeah, so I'll just fire straight back in. So yeah. The, when do you explode the scarab? When I select it to fight. So you could kill it before I decide to pop it. Uh, That's why I kept that one CP. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll put four into the scarab. Four into the scarab. Then one into the void dragon. One into the void dragon. So the scarab first, hitting on twos, we <laughs> on the ones. Oh, <laughs> dearie me. Oh. Wow. That's, a, that's the same as like rolling two stuff. Then I'm guessing that. threes. Uh, they are toughness three, yeah. Yeah, so one goes through. Uh, no save. I'll re-roll that with the uh, Victor of the Dwarf one. game. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's two wounds. I've got no save. How yeah. much damage? D3 damage each. Ooh, so looking for a four or more. And he's got it. It's exactly done it. Exactly four. So that last Scarab base is removed. Uh, do you want to move on to your Terminator Captain next? Yeah. Um, I've got the one going into him as well. For oh, the yeah, sorry. Captain. Yeah, do that one first. Yeah, so one attack left into the Void Dragon. Dragon. Uh, that's uh, not a wound. not going to wound, no, toughness seven. And also, for those who were wondering at home, Tom did use the relic on the Terminator Captain, so he teleported in ah, yes, as yes. soon as the Void Dragon uh, made his charge. It's good that Carl that knows my rules, but <laughs> I always forget him. <laughs> yeah. I'm here just to help out. That's what I'm here Indeed. for. So Terminator Captain into the Void Dragon. Indeed. And here we go. So hitting on twos. Very nice. Uh, Wounded What's on. your toughness? Toughness seven. I think it'll be wounded on threes. I'll have a check there after. Oh. oh. Well, that's not good. That five will definitely be a wound. Uh, strength eight. I'll re-roll one with a command point. Okay. So two go through. Uh, it's minus three rend. Yeah, so I get my four up in vun on these two. And his past one failed one. D3 damage. Three damage. Three. So that's the first time he's taken damage this to this phase. round, this yes. stage, yeah. Yeah, so he's lost five. But it'll be meaning four he's got now. four left. And he'll go back to five left at start. Yeah, so he's got four wounds left, he can't take any more damage this phase, but there's yeah. nobody else to attack. So do you want to do your Sagittarium into the scarabs? So six uh, no, sorry, three attacks because you killed one of them. I did, yeah. Hitting on twos. Nice. Then strength five. So threes. Wow. One wound. Any One AP? Wound. Uh, no AP. No, so I get my six up save. Hey. And that's why you don't give guns to a custodian. <laughs> uh, finally, your Vindicare, so I can strike. Oh, back. yes. Again, I have not got a clue what his stats no, are. No, me neither. He's not designed to be in combat. 
Uh, so he has got five attacks. Oh wow! Nine. What? I suppose he is one of the finest trained assassins in the Imperium. I suppose so. What's he going to do? Smack me with the butt of his sniper rifle? Going to use some so kung fu. Hit in on twos. Twos. I believe. Yep. Excellent. Then he is strength four. Your so threes. Two go wounds. through, no rend. No, nope, so sixes. Nope, so I take two wounds off. Let's just say this one. I think that's it. Yeah. So we will do a tot up of any points scored, and then we'll come back to you at the start of Custodes turn two. Cut, so into Custodes turn two. I've got five points for the primary, because I was only in control of one objective. And I got two points. No, I only got one point for Razor Banners because you're in range of that objective now. Yes, so I now control that objective. Yes, so the banner so is down. Both destroyed a banner each. I've destroyed this banner, and then your captain's fallen back and destroyed my banner. Yes. So just running around tearing banners down. Yes, yeah, so I've um, fallen back with both models. So this bike captain is now in range of that objective, so that takes it from. Sam. Yep. And the Terminator just fallen out of combat just because I can shoot at the Fire Dragon. Catan, yeah. Uh, the Terminators have dropped in as well. So they're on there. They're going to be doing some shots into the oh, Overlord. Lord. See if we can get some um, assassinate points for that. So we'll grab some dice and we'll go into the shooting phase. Okay, so into the shooting phase, I'm going to do the Sagittarium Guard first. So I'm going to try and pluck a couple of wounds off the Void Dragon. Ooh. So they find both profiles, so I'll do the Assault 3 one first. So yes. hitting on freeze. Nice. And it is strength 5, so I'll be wounded nice. on 5s. Yeah. Two go through. Ooh. Um, this one so is I've got minus, four one. minus 1 rend, 2 damage. Yeah, so 4 up in one. It's past them both. Oh wow. Then I've got the Disintegration Beam. Hitting on threes. That's not pleasant. Wounded on fives. Just one goes through, but uh, mm. this is on your involve again. Three yeah. damage. So, oh, three damage on my four up. Oh, that's gone out the tree. Huzzah! Well done, Voidy. Uh, that's thrown me off. Um, <laughs> You're expecting to do a bit more there? Yeah. He very rarely makes his four up in fun as well, so. Well done. I'll have a think and come back to you. So, going with the Talamon now, because he's in his lowest bracket, I'm just going to put everything into the um, Void Dragon. Yeah, so hitting on fours. Yeah, so the beam characteristic hitting on fours, so I've got 12 shots. But you are re-rolling ones, yes. And there's no... Oh, there's one one. Uh, so I've got one, it's two, one, three, four, five. Just look below average. Yeah. Then it's strength seven, so wounded on fours. Yeah. Uh, two go through. It's minus two ren, so it'll be your four up in one. Yeah. Yep. So two four ups. And his past one failed. One. How much damage is that? Just one damage. Just one. I'll let that go through then. So you'll be down to three. So it's down to three. You can only take two more points of damage this phase. Then I've got the spickless bolt launcher. So only five shots because he moved. Hitting on fours. Rerolling the one. Then wounding on fives. Oof. Three go through. Minus two, uh, minus one rend, one damage. But one damage four up again. Well. So four ups. Oh, his past two failed once. He takes another one wound. Puts him down to two. And then I'll pop two CP um, for the Terminators to fire at the Captain. Uh, to fire at the Overlord. So I'll just see what's in rapid fire range and get the dice. Right, I've decided I'm going to re-roll one of those saves because it's down to two wounds. If I roll another four up, he'll have three wounds left. And that's much more likely to keep him alive. So on a four plus, yes. So he's still got three wounds left. Nice. I'm now played. out of CP. So that your CP is gone. And now, Tom, have you got your dice, sir? Uh, I haven't. He threw me off again. No worries. <laughs> Going with the Terminators now. I pop two CP um, so I can target the Overlord, even though it's in lookout sir range. Yep. So three are in rapid fire range, so I've got eight dice in total. Hitting on twos. 
then what's your toughness? On the Overlord, he's toughness five. So I wouldn't have done fives. Uh, just two. Ooh, Maybe. so the Overlord. Minus one, rend two damage. Maybe, okay. Uh, he's got a four pin one. And he's passed one, failed one, so it takes two damage. That's not what I needed, but... Uh -huh. Right, so shooting with the grenade launchers now, there's one out of range, so uh, it's going to go into the Overlord. Yes. So D3 shots. Ooh, two. So two, hitting on twos. Nice. Then wounding on fives. Nothing. No. Then into the Warriors, D3 shots each. So we've got six. So these are hitting on twos. I don't know, that looks like two. How many did you roll then? Two, the three. two Four. threes and two fours. Ah, okay. Then wounding on fours because they're tough as four. Uh, sorry, yeah, tough as four. Uh, so we've got Oof. seven. Seven in total. Any AP? Minus three, one damage each. Minus three means I get absolutely no save. Oh, wow. So that's just seven dead warriors. Are you wanting to roll your reanimation now? Oh yeah, I think I should probably roll some reanimation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking off seven guys. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think yet again I've forgotten to roll any reanimation for my scarabs. Yeah, you did. Literally get a comment after every single game. I just never remember reanimation for scarabs. Right. Uh, five ups. Oh wow. Four are fine. One can re-roll. Three are dead. That's disgusting. I That's do pretty good. It's all right, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Any more shooting, sir? Uh, that is everything. Um, Back in the charge phase? Yeah, we might as well do it now because there's only one charge. That yeah, matters. not a problem. Um, if it doesn't work, then uh, unfortunately I'll have to concede. Is this <laughs> the Telemon into the Void Dragon? It is indeed. Ooh. Here we go. So it's oh, in moving. on a free plot. Is in. Are you not charging the Termis? Uh I'll do the attacks with the Telemon first, just because okay. if he doesn't kill your Void Dragon, Void Dragon is yeah, it's more or less game over. Um, so I'll do it now. So hitting on fours. No worries. Oh, <laughs> you missed them all. Yes. Yeah, so unfortunately, I've not done the Golden Boys proud, and I'm gonna have to concede because I can't really do anything else this game. So there we go, that is the end of the game. We are in the wrap-off. Sam, how do you think it went for you? Well, I'm sat here with the MVP in front of me. I yes. think the Void Dragon was immense in that game. 100%. He, so good. His powers were just on point. He was yeah. dishing out mortal wounds left, right and centre. It was a constant threat for a counter charge, which sort of kept your dreadnoughts... Not at bay, but it just it was a constant thing you had to think about. Yeah. Oh yeah. And like so, you said, once he killed the Telemon, there, there was just you didn't have enough to stop me outscoring you. No. Yeah. I uh, I didn't realise this list was going to be such a hard counter against Custodes. Yeah. I genuinely, because he's so expensive, I just then tried to get as much board presence as I could with the remaining points. And I kind of thought you were going to bring some bikes. I think your bikes would have rinsed um, the bikes would have done. That have rinsed the scarabs. That have yeah. rinsed the warriors. You could have shot a warrior squad with Telemon, and then if there were a few left, you could have shot into other warrior squad, and then just smashed into them with bikes. Yeah, I mean, we said it at the end of the last game. I think the bikes are so good. Yeah. The fact that they get the, the re-rolling wounds on the charge, they've got so much dacker, and it's a numbers game, and. I would, people are going to bring bodies against you, so you need something yeah. that you can remove it help them. thin the herd down, can't you? Yeah. Well, off camera, we had probably a 20 minute flight. <laughs> so yes. Yes. Kind, yes. Kind of a discussion and kind of like all our heads, heads were frazzled of <laughs> yeah. the swarm protectors rule for yeah. the custodians because it's not technically obsec, but it is. Yeah, the way that it's worded in the older codex. Yes. It should just say that your infantry and bikes get obsec. Yes, yeah. And then end of end of discussion. But the way it was worded, it made it seem like you just always held the objective regardless of how many objective secured troops I had nearby. Yeah. yeah. Which seemed way too powerful. Yeah. So when we looked into it more, it's not. It's basically just normal objective secured. But they add an extra, like, two paragraphs for no reason. For no reason. It literally just yeah. needs bikes, infantry, 
Objective secured. Yeah, job done. I don't think it's come up in the other games, though. No, um, we've, I think we've been okay. However, with like the problem I'm seeing at the minute is because I've only got maximum five models in the squad. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to come up against um, armies that have a lot of troops. Yeah, yeah. you've got a lot of troops. It's such a hard counter against you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just trying to think of ways that you can help thin it, and the only answer that you have, unfortunately, is is bikers. Yeah. yeah. Although you said you were going to keep your Telemon back, and then you didn't end up getting quite well, close. The reason I moved the Telemon up is because my, my plan was basically when your Void okay. Dragon was on sort of five wounds, I thought I can shoot him, take three wounds off. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. In fact, he had four wounds left, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Knock take, him down to one and then yeah. kick him in combat. Um, combat. But that didn't really plan off. No, um, you can't do anything when you go to eight in combat and you miss with everything. Yeah. Like, there's uh, nothing you can do. Yeah, well, I made sure I took out your combat heavy units straight away. That's why yeah. your gelatin dreadnought, I just... Well, in that him. first turn, I nearly took out a squad of warriors straight away, didn't I? So, yeah, yeah. Um, it just proves how effective it could have been. What I thought, maybe, on the turn where you charged into the Scarabs? Yes. yes. I so thought gelatin. you'd have maybe gone in, finished off the Warrior Blob, because then, obviously you've never played Necrons before though, yeah. and obviously I'm a third party, so I didn't want to step in and say anything, I was just, I'm just here to film, so yeah. I didn't, didn't want to help. Um, but I thought you would have been better go finishing that Warrior Blob off, yeah. because I know what that Resurrection Arm's like. You've but again, you've never played against, against, against it, yeah, exactly. so you didn't know. So you rest 10? Ten. You could have slammed into them, you could have killed them, easy. Yeah. The last seven that had gone. I get why you got rid of the Scarabs and it made sense, because then you tell them on them get tied up. Mm -hmm. So it, I, I get it, but I'd have got rid of that warrior blob, because again, object, they're the objective secured. Which meant they then wouldn't have took that off you, because yeah. all Sam would have had was Scarabs, so yeah, your true. Sagittarium would have had it. But again, yeah. hindsight, obviously, but that's the whole point of the, the wrap-up. And yeah. again, Tom's first time playing Necrons. Yeah, and, and how do you find wrong? it playing Necrons? And we got the rules wrong, because when I put my biker there, I thought, because of our mindset previously... Yes, I yes that's true, true. Yeah. yeah. Which makes sense why you put your bike there, to be fair, yeah. yeah. Um, but now that we know that rules... Yeah, um, not super objective yeah, security. So it's just objective yeah. security. <laughs> yeah, it's just obsec. Um, yeah. Like, for my list building, I'm stuck what to do. Because, mm. like, the bikes... I have got three more, but I don't want to run a lot of bites because then it starts to get... How two. many have you got built and painted? Three. Three? Yeah. Is that including the... Yeah, so Shield Captain, just same model, really. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was a different model. So you need to build and paint at least one more so that you can take yeah. a squad of three with a Shield Captain. So you can have them bobbing forward, clearing yeah. screens. And... I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I think you have to. I'm not saying you have to take six, yeah. but I think... You definitely need some. I agree squad of three with, with a shield captain on bike. I, ag I agree with Sam. You definitely need some because you just don't have the DACA otherwise to clear screens. No. And that's just an issue with your codex. Or the mobility. Yeah, yeah you don't have the mobility. It's... Yeah. Custodies are weird. Because mm. they can take a pound in. They get... It's, it's like the same at the end of every wrap up with custodies. Yeah, they can exactly. take a hammer in. Unless it's mortal wounds. Unless it's mortal wounds, which the Void Dragon did so well. Yeah, and especially we said this as well off camera, because the mortal wounds weren't psychic, because it's a Catan yeah, power, yeah. it doesn't get his feel no pain against well, it. Well, I don't yeah. roll sixes anyway, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think you always... I hate when things are an auto-include, but the problem is, is that because you're an old codex, yeah. You have to because the you've power. You've got to play to your You've got to play to your strength because the power balance is way off. Yeah. Don't forget, Necrons are a new codex for this edition. They are designed with this edition in mind. Yeah. Custodies are not. No. Yeah. So you have to play to your strengths, otherwise you're going to really struggle in games. Which, which is frustrating because, like you said, you don't want to run a massive. You might not want to run a massive bomber yeah. six, but you have to. Bikers, mm -hmm. but you definitely need three. You don't have to, yeah. Like the. The Terminators were useless this game as well, which is surprising. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I think the damage was done before they arrived, really. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's... yeah that's but true. Even if I did unleash the lions and spread them out, I still don't think I'd add the board super. Mm. If you start them no. on the board, maybe? 
Because how many wounds are there? Four wounds? Four wounds each. So and the move six inches, I was surprised by that. Yeah, I am. I think that that could be an option. I think that, on the board. Yeah. Because then it's another thing. It's like, whenever I played Sam and he's got Lysgard, I just yeah, don't yeah. want to shoot him because they're horrible to shoot. Just surround your um, Terminator captain with your Terminators and You've just got, charge them into yeah. separate You've got your banner. You've got your banner that gives minus one to it. You yes. march your Terminators up board with a captain, with your banner as well. You say, if you want to shoot me, you're at minus one to it. So Sam would have been hitting you on fours. He's wounding you on fives. That yeah. is horrible. Well, with the banner as well, I've got the free CP deep strike with the Terminators. That's true. That's true. But I still think just starting on the I though, Yeah, I find it presence. only certain units really work well in deep strike. Like my yeah. Inceptors for Blood Angels, I will deep strike because I have a stratagem that combos into that that works really well. So I'm doing like 30 shots hitting on twos. Whereas with your guys, I Unless you're going for characters, that's, yeah. that's the only benefit to deep striking, I think. If you'd have walked up that board mm. and you were here and Sam pushes up this flank and you push back with the Terminators, you just rapid put all your axes, all your guns into it. The the warriors yeah. just drop. Yeah. I it's I'll tell you now, my target priority was really easy. Yeah. Because I knew your gelatin was fast and I know he's good in combat. So I was like, he's gonna be first. Yeah. I knew your Teleman had so much DACA, I had to sort him out. And your two units of Sagittarium I knew they were far enough away that I could ignore them for a bit. Yeah. One yeah. of the weapons is only 18 inch, so yeah. you're only getting pot shots with your with your other two profiles. So I knew I could take out the early threats early and yeah. push up the board, deal with stuff when I needed to. Yeah. Yeah. I think starting your Terminators on the board with that banner that's minus one to hit. So most things are hit. Any good shooting army is hitting you on fours, wounding yeah. you on fives. Yeah. If they, were, if they were over there, horrible. my warriors would have gone nowhere near that objective. And my scarabs would have gone yeah. nowhere near. And don't forget, if Sam does shoot you with something heavier, you've got transhuman. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got the... Well, no, it's not Primaris. They have a, they uh, have, have their, their own, own version. They have their own yeah. version, yeah. So you've got that one, and you've got the mi ignore minus one. Minus one strength. Yeah, true. So you could and make ignore them... an AP as well. Yes. Oh, yeah. you could make them so tanky. Yeah. But surprisingly, this game, I'd, I've got four CP left. Yeah, I've spent all my... I, I usually <laughs> spend all my CP straight away, and it doesn't plan out for me. Mm. Uh, this list as well, it played really well against Blood Angels. Mm. So I think... I went into this game feeling overconfident a bit. Yeah, you really need to know your opponent, and if you yeah. haven't played Necrons before, you'll have learnt loads from this, and you'll, yeah. be, you'll be thinking about it later on going, you know what, next time I face them, I need to do this, I need yeah. to take that. And the best way to learn is losing. Yeah. 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 You learn more in a defeat than you do in a win. Because if you just win, you just go, oh, well, that reason. Yeah, exactly. That Vindicare whiffed so hard yeah, against did. my Overlord. Yeah. If you'd have killed my Overlord, then them warriors are gone. Because there's no rest. Yeah, mob. they want to rest. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's an absolute game changer. Yeah, that's yeah. And then, you can't control that. That's just dice. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think it's I not will... always the list's fault. Sometimes it's just yeah. what happens on the day. Yeah, of course. But I, I do think the Vindicare was the wrong choice. I don't know. I disagree. I, uh, I really like choice. him for hundred points. Because we were saying off camera, the is it the Calypsus? I can't. Wait. I think it might be the Calidus. Calid well, Maybe. Wh whichever one wh where it's on a four plus, you've yeah, got to spend, spend more CP. That would have been so good. Yeah. Uh, Take both. Game. I don't know. Take if all can. of the. You can run an assassin thing, or I think you can take three assassins, I think. I think you have to take, take all four. Just take all four. Take all four. That's how it yeah. used to be. Take, so. Why not? Take all but four. They are, but They're I think the Vindicare so is amazing. Good. I'd take him every time. Yeah. Especially it's, against Necrons, because we're so reliant on his characters. Same with me, like I have loads of spot characters of Blood Angels. If you take my chaplain out, I'm like, yeah. Ugh, that's not good. But again, it comes down to points, and because yeah. everything's so expensive, yeah. it's so difficult because, say, that Telemon was. How many points is the Telemon? 260, 260 with 50, or 290 with them guns. How many shots did you take the 290? Yeah. So he's only 60 points cheaper than the Void Dragon. I know it's a it's a lot of shots, but I usually it's two ninety sixty points more expensive than a Reaper I've got down there to build the Gladiator Reaper that does forty shots, mm. and it's updated rules as well from the Forge World Company. Yeah, so they're not so going to change. Yeah, no. I, I think, think it might be a little bit too expensive. I don't think it's core either. Which if oh. the, I cannot see them giving Custodes core, that would be horrible. Or if they did, they just make everything. It's core, already so the. Forge World, but is it? So is he not yeah. core? He's not core, but the smaller dreadnoughts are. 
the Terminators are. So you wouldn't be able to re-roll hits on him. So I think I'd rather take more smaller dreadnoughts. More mini dreadnoughts. Than big Telemon. But the problem is it's all Forge World. So yeah. I've got to spend a lot of money to try and get them. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Yeah. Uh, but the the way I'm seeing it is the custodian custodian's list is quite lackluster against most armies now. You're in a bad spot. We spoke about this. There's yeah, you a need your codex. There's a couple of armies that really need the codex. Tau, I won't go into it. But I already promised Sam and Tom I won't go on about Tau. But <laughs> Tau, um, custodies as well. I, they're not as bad as Tau, like I said to you guys. But they, I think they've definitely they definitely suffer with how objectives work and secondaries yeah. and stuff. I think you really suffer. And I think, like we said as well that you definitely just if you're running terminators start them on board yeah and so. stack those modifiers that make them harder to hit harder mm. to wound uh that like reduce ap and just literally walk into the center of the just, board and just go, stand there and be this like is mine yeah deal with me yeah. what well, then because then you might think because i've done it before and you think oh god they're, they're going to get hammered but if you think about it they're going to be getting hit on fours wounded on fives you drop in ap you've doing your version of transhuman, you just basically went into the middle and saying to Sam, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, and then sending my entire army to shift them. Yeah. And then... Everything else is fine. And then if you've yeah. got a unit of jet bikes flying around who aren't being touched because Sam's... Um, I'm too busy going, oh God, I need to shift them Terminators. But if yeah. I don't shift them Terminators, there's these jet bikes. Yeah. So it, it is hard because you've got to try and squeeze it into a list because everything's so expensive. Yeah, with Custodies as, again as well, like, if you've got a really good list, it's too competitive. But then, if you've got a fun list, it's... A yeah, it does stand up. But yeah. because we're playing, like... I don't oh, you're welcome to take a competitive list. Absolutely. You've got to... We've got to try and balance yeah. the games out. Well, I've got the Venatari, which are a hard counter against Space Marines, because they've got a Pistol 2. They can deep strike and uh, they can double the shots. Oh, so yeah. I think it's strength six, two damage. So each one that goes through will be a dead space marine. Oh, so that'll be a, mm. a good counter, but against the horde army, it's not too good. You've got the equivalent terminators, which have got uh, rapid fire two storm bolters. So you can double that again, so they'll be taking eight shots each. <laughs> wow, that's, so that's pretty tasty. Yeah. I've probably got some other options. Yeah, I probably would have brought them, but they're not painted. Yeah, so, yeah that's fair. Um, I'm taking them to um, one of our commission painters and getting them to do them all. The thing is as well is because the list they've gone in blind, it's, there's always a risk when we do blind lists. Yeah. Which is what had happened at a tournament. Yeah. Or if you went down to your local game store or whatever, if you haven't arranged it beforehand, yeah. you, you're you going to get these just bad matchups. It's just yeah. going to happen. But it, on a different day, it could have gone a totally different way. Yeah, I yeah, don't 100%. think my list is an auto win against your list. Sort no, of thing. yeah. I definitely start the Terminus on the board, and if the Vindicare had also got the Overlord, like he did the yeah. Warden, that's huge. And the Void Dragon just powered up and yeah. gave out so many more wounds. Yeah, it was yeah. disgusting. It was brutal. Well, before I saw the objectives, I wanted to stay back and mm. stay out of range of the Void Dragon, but I couldn't really because of the deployment and... Like, I could have quite easily put all the objectives back here than yeah. be, like a sweaty player and just... It's <laughs> hard though, isn't it? Because you've got to be six away and then you can't move into yeah. all each other. So even if you put your first one here like you did, the others have to be mm. more towards the centre. So you've got to go out. So, it, yeah. But what did you think of the open war cards? It was okay. Like, I didn't really like the twist. Mm. It didn't... Re well, it came into play, but the twist only against you. The yeah. twist penalised, <laughs> and as well, the funny thing is, the twist that happened, even if it affected you both even amounts, mm. it affects you way more. Yeah. yeah. Mortal, mortal wounds are literally their kryptonite. Yeah. As for the ones where it's like you can't can only shoot models that you can see within ten inches, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You could have vetoed like that. that twist though. We could have drawn a new one. We could have done, but it's yeah. not as fun that way, is it? <laughs> But I like them. I, th I think um, I liked them. I think if you're doing like small point games, like if, you, if we're doing yeah. a few thousand point games, I think doing them would be good. It'd be good to do like when we do random armies and random lists and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just get the open war cards out because it does get a little bit not boring, but you're like, oh, I've played this mission before, and you kind of have a mindset already of I did that last time, or yeah. I know how to play this. Yeah, to, to maximize and get efficiency, which is great, obviously, if you want to play tournament play. But we're yeah. trying to 
just make it fun, I guess. Yeah, at the moment, just try and do something, something different, a bit interesting. Maybe down the line, when we have more armies and more models available, we might go super sweaty and do a game where we try and play like a tournament list. Yeah. But for now, we're just we could play. We could host a little tournament amongst ourselves. Yeah, we could do actually. Yeah, that'd be yeah. a good idea. I like that. When are you going to tell the fans about the new studio army? Is that going to is that keeping under the old beanies for now? Yeah, I'll stay under here, mm. and I'll I'll let you guys. Well, I'll let them know in the future. Well, I'll, there might be some... To be honest, actually, by the time this video has gone out, there's probably going to be pictures on Instagram. Maybe, yeah. So, if you're seeing this and you haven't seen it, go follow us on the Instagram. Yeah. The old link's in the description. You could give them a whirl, Tom. See how you yeah. like... Uh, well... A few well, more models on the table. Not, not to sound... <laughs> just, <like> just a <laughs> few. <laughs> not to sound like too sort of, but... I don't really want to play Custodies again for a while. Yeah. You don't sound salty because that's exactly how I feel about my Tau. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to be able to compete in a game. Yeah. I don't want to auto win everything because that's boring. But yeah. I also don't want to auto lose everything because that's no. not fun either. But that's why I have two armies as well. Because yeah. you don't want to play the same army no. over and over again. That's true. That's well, I, I love mixing it up between my Dark Angels and my Necrons and taking totally different lists and... Bringing out new models. Yes, yeah. and now we've That's got fun for me. We've got more armies, and we're all just pulling his armies together for the studio, so we can take each other's armies for a spin and stuff. So we've got so many options. It's just we're getting to the point where we've at least got a thousand points in each one painted because we don't yeah. really want to use stuff that isn't painted. I think yeah. anybody could use that list I ran today. It's yeah. not complicated. No. I think anyone could give it a go if they wanted to try Necrons out and just see yeah. what the core mechanics of Necrons are. Absolutely. You've ticked all the boxes of the cores, you've got your Warden, you've got your Overlord, you've got your little My Will Be Done, your Res. So yeah. Yeah. That's the first time I've paid the 2CP to give him the fair on. I so really do My Will Be Done twice. I think it's worth it. Oh, God, I you really yeah. do. Especially in big blobs, you're maximising it so much. Yeah. Because if you run two, ma you, if you run two small 10 warrior blobs, that's just 20 shots. But literally, you're doubling your efficiency with it if you take two big blobs. It's yeah. so good. I can't wait until I'm... Like, I need to paint some more warriors. I just can't be bothered yet. Yeah. <laughs> but soon, there's going to be like 60, 80, 100 warriors on the table. Well, the good thing about this new studio army is, if you've already seen the pictures, you already know. But if you haven't, most of it, it's literally already painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can get that out and we can... A lot of big get debut it. games. Yeah, big debut games. So probably it'll be coming out after this video. I would assume, in the timeline. We're in a weird limbo where we're like a month in front for videos. Always, yeah. So I nearly said Happy New Year at the start and then I realised it's probably yeah. weeks after. I did, yeah. <laughs> it's very it's true. New Year's Day today. Yeah. We'll have Crusade to film as well soon. Crusade coming at end of January. We'll be starting to film that at the end of January, which is maybe when this video goes out. So yeah, then maybe. Crusade is probably next week when this video goes out, the week after. And we're going to have tons of content for that because it's really quick games and there's eight... Eight of us playing? I think there's eight of us. Yeah. Eight of us playing, so we're going to be able to get loads of loads of matches done. Yeah. And That's... you can see how his armies grow as well as we go along, which will be really nice. Yeah. Because obviously you're just adding little units in and like odd time because you go along, so it'd be nice to see how everyone expands and what route yeah. you decide to go. Yeah. I still haven't decided what army I'm using yet. So. I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got four weeks, so we're all right. Although you've got to have it built and painted, so there is that. That's true. I'm thinking pure Ravenwing. That's what I keep leaning ah, towards. Very I just nice. want everybody on a bike. Sounds good. Cool. But well, that's our future talk. Yeah, that is. So hopefully you enjoyed our the video and our small ramble at the end. <laughs> and if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below with any tips that you always leave. Again, me, Sam, and Tom are always in the comments. We're always chatting with you guys. Any armies you want to see on the channel. Also, we have launched a new thing, which you probably will have already seen. But if you haven't, we've launched a Patreon. So if any of you would wish to donate, it's a little monthly donation. It's completely up to you guys, completely voluntary. It just helps us out and everything that we get is put into brand new equipment, so new cameras, microphones, lightings, yeah. rigs, new mats, new terrain, just stuff to help us make better videos for you guys at home. Absolutely. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.